sit here and talk. And of course, this was all open country. Um, there were 200 people, population of 200, in Yorba Linda at that time, 200. The high chair held all five boys. This is so cool, this all authentic. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a real thing. This is just a teens of their books. They, all, most of their books, or all of their books are in the archives. But on the top shelf behind glass is Hannah and Frank's wedding invitation. From oh, wow. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's very cool. How classy they were back then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Huh. So no heat, no running water, no electricity, and they're freezing. So Frank said, I'll try and build a fireplace. He did, and it worked. And people heard about it. They asked him to do the same. He did, but they still didn't bring enough money for them to stay. They still yeah. just couldn't make it. And where did they move from here? Whittier. Whittier, that's right. Okay. So on the shelf here on the mantle are wedding presents from the Quaker Church and also their wedding photo. And then this, I love this picture. This is Hannah Milhouse's family. Of course, all girls. He, of course, was part of all boys. She's the tallest. And there's such a strong resemblance of Hannah being the tallest and President Nixon. I mean, sure it's, is. it's remarkable. That is interesting, you're right. So this is their room where they enjoyed each other. President Nixon played five instruments. He wow. played the piano, the violin, the accordion, the clarinet, and the saxophone. Oh, and they would sit here, they would sing, they would read. His favorite uh, magazine was National Geographic. And above the curio cabinet is a composite of the boys at four years of age, two of which passed away. The first one is Howard, who, Harold, who passed away at the age of 24 from tuberculosis. And then at the very end is Arthur, who passed away um, at the age of seven. Mm -hmm. So four oh, boys wow. and two adults lived in this house. So they didn't have a bathroom, and it was like they had an outhouse, and they just couldn't handle it. So leave it to, to Frank. He took a closet and turned it into a bathroom. <laughs> That's nice. That's what they had back there. You're right. Oh, no. So when they left here and moved to Whittier, they stayed there until they passed, and then they put the children put everything into storage. So when they opened up, you know, they really didn't know timing, but when they opened up the library, they could bring it here for people to enjoy. Anything that you see while you're touring that's either behind glass or under glass is going to be authentic, just so you, you kind of know that. Jeez. And the piano is full This of is music. impressive. Isn't it? Here's the kitchen. This is my favorite place. I love the counter space. <laughs> <laughs> I exactly. I remember going into my grandmother's house years later, just sort of knocked on the door and said, can we come in and see my grandma used to live here? And I couldn't believe the meals that she had prepared. Well, yeah, they did it. In this tiny little kitchen. Did they have linoleum back then? They had linoleum wow. back then. Now, this is called the California Cooler. My grandparents had it in the 40s, but I never paid attention because, you know, I didn't care. Um, but this is a California cooler. On each shelf, you'll see wire mesh that's open to the ground. So that would keep all her, oh, yeah. her, all her pastry, her fruit, her vegetables fresh. Either the Wonderful. cold, the damp, the warm. That is so smart. Isn't that neat? And everything was I've never fresh heard back. of that. Everything was fresh back then, you know. Right, yes, of course. And of course, the icebox and the stove are replicas, but they're exact copies. Yeah. Okay, so this is real. Okay. In the window, which is what my job in the 40s, you would, my parents would tell me how many pounds of ice they needed, and I would turn that so the iceman could know how much to bring in, because they never came into the house and then out of the house. So let's say it was 15 pounds, he'd get his claw, bring it in, put it in the ice box, and then there would be ice for your dairy. Cool. I know. I never know. You never heard of yeah. that. But this is, I remember this. Yeah. So to the left is where Frank kept his riding gear and Hannah did her canning. And oh. then the far back, the far room is where she had her sewing room. But Frank had to do something with the boys. So if you look between the two rooms at the very base, down upstairs. Yeah, look and see there's a there's a stair. Yeah. Okay, it's only twenty-two inches wide, 
We were only allowed to go up once we became a docent, and then that's it. And no one can go up there because it's not safe. Right. It's just enough room for those boys to run up and run down. <laughs> In that room are two beds, four boys slept there, and one desk. And they thought they struck gold. Of course, you know? yeah. I mean, you exactly. play outside all day. This was luxury back in the Oh, my God. I, I know. I know. I know some gentleman was going crazy over all this. You know, and it's, it has. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. quality when you think about it. Yeah. I mean, the way it's all painted. In. Now, you notice that present next to them, Mrs. Nixon, are buried here. Yes. Okay. And you can't just bury people anywhere. So back then, President Nixon was given the opportunity to be buried at Arlington. He earned that, but he wanted to be close to home. So President, no, Governor Pete Wilson and the Quaker Church bought that piece of property, turned it into church property, so legally they could be buried. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. That's, I love hearing this kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. Jeez. And these are all authentic. All of anything, but yeah. All, look at but these were bought afterwards. These yeah, were not yeah, left yeah, here. Yeah, right? no, no, no. Those were bought afterwards. And then this is the cookbook that she had, a presidential cookbook. I think it was 1904. I mean, who knew? Oh, yeah. White House cookbook. <laughs> Jeez. I know. 